our man of the hour hails from the rich land of Nabua, Camarinesur in Bicol region. As he aspired for meaningful service to our country, he took the road less traveled by hurdling the ordeals inside the prestigious Philippine Military Academy. He graduated as a member of the now ruling class of Philippine Military Academy some BC class of 1991. This personal success of having completed the four-year arduous training did not stop him from charting his academic goals. He earned his master's degree in public administration, major in organizational studies, and further completed his Doctor of Philosophy in Development Administration from the University of Southern Philippines in 2013. He also underwent a special training program on results-based management from the Asian Institute of Management. He juggled all these scholarly pursuits along with public service as he carried out his duties and responsibilities as a police officer in various positions. Among these notable positions include being the chief of police or station commander in different precincts in Davao City Police Office, chief of quad division such as intelligence, operations, and police community relation in Police Regional Office 11. He has served as the country representative for the UN Convention on Arms Trade Treaty, both in Geneva, Switzerland, and Vienna, Austria, showing their dedication to global peace and security. He has left an indelible mark as the chief of the Presidential Protection Division, where their leadership was crucial in ensuring the safety and well-being of top government officials. He has also contributed significantly as the deputy for PNP operations within the Presidential Security Group safeguarding key government figures and upholding the country's stability. Chief of Staff of PSPG until he held the directorship of the same unit. Regional Director of Police Regional Office 11. Deputy Commander of Area Police Command Visayas and currently the Commander of Area Police Command Eastern Mindanao. His rich experience in policing is a product of sheer determination, willpower, and compassion in performing his duty as a public servant. He also pursued several trainings locally and abroad, such as the VIP Security and Protection course conducted by PSPG. Having delivered a just and quality service to the people, he ardently believes that service is our way of worship to our Creator. Indeed, his service also earned him numerous awards and medals, particularly He is a recipient of the Distinguished Order of La Pu La Pu, the highest award in recognition of their exemplary service and dedication to the nation. He was branded as Outstanding Alumnus of the University of Southeastern Philippines in 2014, a National Awardee of the Volunteer Against Crime and Corruption in 2016, the PSPG as the best national operational support unit during the 2018 Police Service Anniversary and Police Regional Office 11 implementation of the Revitalized Police sa Barangay, which earned recognition and special award during the 120th Police Service Anniversary in 2021. These awards and recognitions are only reflective of the sterling leadership of our honoree in whatever designation he assumed in his prime years. On the same note, Police Lieutenant General Escobal's notable contributions to public service go beyond policy works. To mention, in November 2019, then Police Brigadier General Fillmore B. Escobal when he assumed as Regional Director of Police Regional Office 11, he conceptualized the revitalize of Police sa Barangay dubbed as RPSP as its action plan to contribute to the holistic framework to end the local communist armed conflict. The active participation of PRO 11 through the RPSB contributes to the successful declaration of Insurgency-Free Davao Region. Our honoree also spearheaded the establishment and full operations of the Camp Sergeant Quintin M. Merecido Hospital, which caters PNP personnel along with their dependents. 
He also initiated the establishment of the Mindanao Police Training Camp in a 100-hectare land allocated by the local government unit and BENR, situated in Barangay Kapatagan, Digo City, Davao del Sur, which offers cool, ambient environment for PNP recruits, visiting PNP officials and other distinguished guests and visitors. Our honorary also recognized the need to upgrade the communications, connectivity, and coordination system of Police Regional Office 11. These gave birth to Pro 11 Integrated Command Center, Pro 11 ICC, which functions as the core facility for communication, particularly in reaching out far-flung municipal police stations. Real-time monitoring through the closed-circuit television cameras installed in every police station and in main thoroughfares in Davao City. And coordination during VIP visits, disasters, and other significant activities. This state-of-the-art facility has also utilized the Geographic Information System or GIS that creates, manages, analyzes, and maps all types of data. These advancements improve communication and efficiency among duty bearers and help in better management and decision-making. He also initiated the activation of Indigenous People Component Platoon during his stint as Regional Director of Pro 11. This initiative promotes inclusivity as to opportunities as it recognizes the indispensable role of the members of our Indigenous people in Davao region in nation building. His rise to higher position as he took the helm of Area Police Command Eastern Mindanao even gave him the opportunity to work profoundly on his vision. In May 15, 2022, upon his assumption as commander, he conceptualized campaign plan Tinabangay for Eastern Mindanao. The said campaign plan aims to spread initiatives of RPSB of Pro 11 to identified areas under the jurisdiction of Pros 10 and 13. The launching and eventual implementation of RPSB forged strong coordination and collaboration between the three regional offices to promote a safe and conflict resilient barangays under their wing. Worthy to highlight is the great impact of the revitalized police sa barangay in the northern and central areas of Mindanao through the implemented barangay development projects which address the vital issues and concerns of our fellow men situated in far-flung areas. Beyond the numerous accomplishments of campaign plan, Tina Bangai, he has been instrumental in shaping the direction of the nation's future with other campaign plans. The campaign plans? Pag Tim but Yayong, Bai Bayan, Tina Bangai Alpha, dub as Urban RPSB, and Esquelahan, reflect his commitment to the overall development and progress of the country. These exemplify the precinct taught by Pope Paul VI that if you want peace, work for justice. This is a call for peacemakers to promote peace in a world surrounded by violence and conflict. Thus, our honorary envisioned a peaceful and orderly barangay by promoting social justice and empowering their leaders and entities. Recently, Police Lieutenant General Escobal has also led the groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of multi-purpose hall of APC Eastern Mindanao campsite located at the Pai Street, Barangay Bako Oshiro, Tubuk District, Davao City. This project funded through PNP Trust Receipt is made possible through the persistent effort of our honorary in bringing in resources to prelude greater administrative accomplishment, a better working environment for APC Eastern Mindanao personnel breeding productive police officers who in turn produce a meaningful result in its strategic approach in managing the peace and order situation in Eastern Mindanao. But all this success might just be an impossible dream without the all-out support of the better half of our visionary leader. Hence, it is just fitting and proper to acknowledge Madame Gilaida Trinidad Escobal, the lovely wife of our commander, Police Lieutenant General Filmor B. Escobal, and their three children, Kristen Gill, Filmor II, and Mark Hill.
who have given their fair share of sacrifice so that our honorary can spend meaningful time in carrying out things in the name of quality public service. Truly, the love and sacrifice of the family brings out the best in our leader. The harmony inside the home gives him peace and in the end only delivers the best service he could give for God, country, and people.